I1. Okay? And this is a joint work with uh, uh, Kanetomo Sato. So um, let me start uh, from a brie brief and elementary introduction to uh, K, K, K theory introduction. Okay. So first, uh, K2 uh, of M, uh, so this is a field, uh, denotes uh, the Milner's K2. Okay. This is a Milner's K2. Which is defined as uh, uh, the tensor product of oh no 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 um, where is the eraser oh yes uh, oh that one. okay thank you and um, k cross tensor k cross uh, module or uh, uh, subgroup uh, generated by uh, Steinberg relations okay here f uh, is not zero or one. So uh, this group is called the Milner's K2. And uh, the element uh, F tensor D uh, is often written uh, by a uh, uh, bracket FG. And called, uh, it's called uh, a symbol. OK? All right. OK? And uh, now uh, we introduce uh, K1 or uh, yeah, K1 of the schemes, okay? So uh, let X be a smooth uh, variety uh, over a uh, field K, okay? I keep in mind uh, X is a surface and K is a periodic field, periodic local field. Uh, but for a moment, we work over arbitrary uh, uh, smooth variety, okay? And uh, let uh, D be a reducible divisor. Namely, it's a codimension one subschemes. Okay. And then uh, there is a, a map which is called a tail symbol. Sy sy symbol, sy symbol. At D, uh, uh, it is a, a map from K2, Milner's K2 of uh, the function field of X to uh, the function field uh, of D. The definition is simple. The symbol, uh, a symbol uh, FG uh, goes to the following element. Okay. F, V, D, and F is directed on D. Okay? VD uh, de denotes the order uh, 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 of the function. Okay. So, uh, so uh, F and G may uh, have uh, zero or poles along D, but uh, this in this fraction, uh, it is cancelled. So uh, this is a very defined element in the uh, uh, function field of D. Okay. And this is called the term symbol. Uh, the ten symbol map. Okay. Now uh, uh, let's consider the, uh, the following complex. Uh, let uh, K two of uh, M X no 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 this is um, K K K X and the product uh, of uh, co 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 dimension on D called one and uh, K D cross tensor D and uh, second term is a uh, coordination E V E. Okay. Um, the map delta two and delta one. And uh, tensor D denotes a uh, basis uh, at the, the, the D component. And the E uh, denotes a basis of uh, uh, combination two, uh, E component. Okay. It's a free abelian group. They are free abelian group. And it's a, a direct sum, sum of uh, uh, the, the KD cross. Okay. And the map uh, 
delta 2, 2 uh, is uh, defined as a, uh, the sum of uh, the term symbols, namely uh, fg uh, goes to uh, a sum of uh, 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 delta d uh, fg uh, tensor d. Okay? This is the element in, in here. Okay? And delta 1 uh, send uh, uh, fd tensor d to uh, the following element. Okay? And I star divisor d tilde f d. Okay? Where uh, d tilde is a normalization of d. d is a irreducible divisor. So there is a no, uh, normalization and d tilde is uh, also irreducible. No, no normalization. And i uh, is the composition to uh, x. Okay? So uh, the d d d divisor of uh, uh, d tilde fd is a divisor in, in, in d tilde. And then we push forward to in x. Then we have uh, uh, some of the uh, cycles uh, of coordination too. Okay? And uh, then uh, this is a complex. Okay? One can show that uh, the composition is zero. Okay? So uh, okay, the K cohomology group. No, no. Uh, no. Uh, so uh, I will start right here. And uh, the K cohomology H zero X K two is a kernel of delta two, and H one X K two is a kernel of delta one over uh, image of delta two, and H two uh, X K2 is a, a co kernel of delta 1. one. Yes. And the last one uh, is, by definition, uh, the child group of co dimension 2. Okay? And this is not a definition of K cohomology groups, but a theorem. It's called uh, a just and conjecture. But uh, we don't need a theory of just and conjecture uh, in this talk. So uh, you may think uh, that this is a definition of K cohomology groups. Okay? And uh, if you know the uh, algebraic K groups, uh, of Quillen's algebraic K groups, uh, you can show that uh, this is equal to uh, the uh, Quillen's K2 of x and uh, so this means uh, uh, Adam's weight piece and this is equal to uh, k1 and this is equal to uh, k0 okay okay so uh, so this uh, this cohomology group uh, is uh, k2 of x and this is uh, k1 of x this is a K0 of X, and this is equal to the child group. Okay? And the uh, uh, subject in the title, the so subject of which uh, we are interested in uh, is this cohomology group. Okay? Right. We don't use uh, the, uh, the Quillen's K, K, K theory uh, here after. Okay? So you can, uh, you can forget th uh, this part. Alright. Okay. So um so uh there is a, a natural map from uh, uh K cross tensor child one to uh, to to H one uh, X K two. 
namely, it's a natural, naturally, it sends a lambda tensor D it goes to lambda tensor uh, D. Okay? Because uh, lambda is a constant function, constant, so a uh, divisor uh, of a constant function is always zero. So it's contained in the uh, kernel of delta 1. So it defines a uh, well defined element in, in H1K2. Okay? So this is a canonical map. And also, uh, we have, uh, so there is a, a na is a norm map. H1, XL, uh, K2, to H1. So the norm map we write L over K. Uh, H1 of X, uh, K2. Where for, for a finite extension. So then we define the decomposable subgroup in the following way. So definition of the H1, X, uh, K2 decomposable part uh, is a union of um, N, L over K, an image uh, uh, okay. So this is a subgroup uh, uh, in uh, H1, um, K2, and it's, it's called uh, the composable part. The composable part. In the composable K1 uh, is defined as a quotient uh, by uh, the decomposable uh, uh, subgroup. Okay. So this is a uh, uh, this is a in the composable K1 in the title. And uh, let me show you uh, 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 the elementary examples. Okay. Example. Okay. Uh, now uh, assume that X is a surface. Okay. I keep in mind uh, only X is a surface. Okay. In all in, 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 in all the time. Okay. And now uh, consider uh, that uh, that C e, e, e is a union of uh, the curve C i, uh, which is a chain of curve, chain of uh, rational curves, and the shape is like that. Okay. So uh, this this this. Huh? So C1, C2, C3, and let uh, PI e is the uh, intersection point like this. Okay. So then, uh, since CI is a rational curve, so there is a, a rational function such that uh, divisor. Uh, f i is uh, p i minus p i plus one, okay? Because c i is a p one, okay? so there is a unique uh, rational function such that uh, divisor is p i minus p i plus one, module constant. Okay? Then uh, we put uh, the c is uh, uh, sum of uh, f i tensor c i, okay? Then uh, the, the delta 1 of C is, by definition, uh, is a P1 minus P2 
plus uh, P2 uh, minus P3 and plus uh, Pn minus P1. Okay? So this is zero. Okay? I mean, uh, this is contained in the kernel of uh, delta 1, so it defines an a, a element in H1, K2. And uh, this element uh, can be a candidate of, uh, in the composable element because uh, uh, fy is not a constant function. This is not a constant, not constant. So this can be a candidate of, uh, uh, the, in the composable element, non-trivial element. However, uh, there's no simple way to uh, check, to determine uh, whether uh, this is not trivial or not. Sometimes uh, this is trivial, uh, sometimes it's uh, uh, non-trivial. But it's never easy to, uh, show, uh, to show it, okay? And the, <coughs> okay. Mm. Next, uh, I recall a uh, p-adic regulator map, okay? Uh, p uh, so, so uh, um, so, uh, now x is a, a projective uh, smooth uh, variety over a field k. But uh, I keep in mind K is a periodic field or number field. Okay. And uh, the theory of a higher chunk class, uh, theory of a universal chunk class, uh, we have a, a map from algebraic K groups to uh, the uh, generalized cohomology group. This is a generalized cohomology group. For example, Durini cohomology, et al. cohomology, and so on. But uh, here, uh, in this talk, uh, we only consider the etal cohomology groups, okay? And the P2, okay? This is a, a continuous etal cohomology groups. Continuous etal cohomology groups. And if uh, H3 XK bar uh, ZP2 GK is zero, then uh, there is a natural map from uh, uh, this cohomology groups to the Galois cohomology groups, uh, Galois K uh, H2 XK bar ZP2. And the composition, uh, I write rho, and this is called, the, this is uh, the p adic regulator. Okay. Okay, this is the uh, uh, main subject in, uh, of uh, this talk. Okay. And the regulator uh, is a very important uh, uh, tool to study the case theory, and also uh, uh, it's important in number theory, uh, because uh, uh, it, give, it gives, uh, it, uh, it's conjectured uh, to, it's expected to give uh, 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 special values of uh, zeta functions, okay? And uh, there are uh, uh, many, many uh, uh, open conjectures about the regulator. And one of that is, the block cut conjecture. Uh, which tells that uh, H1 X K2 tensor Q P is isomorphic to uh, H1, the G part of H2 X K bar Q P2. Okay? So this is a, a G part. Uh, it is a, a subspace of the Galois cohomology group, 
and uh, defined by using a P adequate theory. I will not tell you uh, the definition, but and uh, the block cut or conjecture uh, uh, tells that uh, this is the, uh, the, the periodic regulator in, induces isomorphism, and uh, they uh, formulated a, uh, a, a, a uh, they formulated uh, uh, some some conjecture about uh, the special values of the regulator. Re re uh, but a uh, regulator, mm. okay. Um, okay. <laughs> so uh, we have we have no result about block cut conjecture, but uh, this is uh, uh, this is the, uh, our motivation. This is our motivation. Right. Okay. Now, uh, okay, and. Uh, the cohomology groups H2, X, uh, K bar, Q, P, E2 uh, is, uh, decomposes into uh, two, two, two components. One is uh, the neuron cell group, canceling with uh, Q, P1, uh, plus uh, its uh, orthogonal complement with respect to the polarization form. And the decomposition uh, uh, corresponds to uh, the decomposable part and indecomposable part. So more precisely, uh, here's a periodic regulator, H2, X, K bar, Q, P, 2, and uh, K2 decomposable. Uh, then uh, the image is contained in the H1 of K, uh, the neuron cell groups. Regulator in the composable, the composable uh, if and only if uh, log c is not zero in H one k b. Okay. Mm -hmm. So therefore, uh, if log c is regulator in the composable. Then uh, clearly it's in the compost. Okay. And uh, when uh, k is a, a number field case, and assume that block cut of conjecture, then uh, the compass is also true. However, it's a, a widely open problem. All right. And the, and. Uh, So uh, regulator in the composable uh, element uh, plays an important role in number theory. Okay. And the aim of uh, this talk is the aim of this talk uh, to give uh, a general method. to uh, get uh, regulator uh, in the composable uh, K1 of uh, elliptic surface. Okay. And tomorrow uh, I will talk on the uh, the uh, application to the study of uh, uh, algebraic cycles. Uh, but today, uh, I will give a general method to obtain a greater in the composable element. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um,
So before finishing the introduction, uh, I state a simple lemma, elementary lemma. Okay. So x is a surface. X is a surface, and uh, assume that element C of H1K2 satisfies the following conditions. First one is a uh, low C does not vanish in H1K and H2. To x k bar to p two. Okay. And the second, uh, so let uh, C i a uh, generators of uh, neuron severity groups of x k bar. And let uh, H1, uh, let Fi uh, is a composition uh, from the map from H1K2 to H1Ci uh, tilde K2 and uh, K bar cross. So the, this, this is a natural pullback. This is a pullback. And this is, the second map is uh, Pi goes to uh, just sending a product of uh, lambda i. Okay. So then uh, the second condition uh, is that f i x c is one for all uh, for all uh, i. Okay. Okay. So then. Uh, Xc is a regulator in the composer. Okay. The conclusion is Xc is uh, the regulator in the composer. Okay. So, uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, th th uh, this follows from uh, the fact that uh, the pairing on the neuron severity group is non-degenerate, and. And it's a, uh, it's a, uh, uh, the proof is easy, so I will not tell it. Uh, but uh, I'd like to say that uh, the, the second condition uh, is rather easy to check. Okay? It's an elementary uh, calculation. So it's easy to check uh, the second condition. However, uh, the first condition, the non-vanishing of periodic regulator, is uh, usually uh, very difficult. So in order to obtain the regulator in the composable element, we have to overcome the non-vanishing of periodic regulator in these conditions. Okay. Um, uh, the simplest way to uh, get a, a non-vanishing of periodic regulator is uh, so to use uh, the boundary map at a, no, 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 uh, the boundary map of at a, spe a special fiber, okay, P car Y. So Y is a special fiber, okay. Um, in fact, uh, if uh, the boundary uh, at a special fiber uh, does not vanish, then uh, we can show that uh, uh, the uh, non-vanishing of the uh, periodic regulator. However, uh, uh, some some guys uh, uh, have uh, no uh, boundary uh, at special fibers. Okay? So then uh, the argument doesn't work. However, uh, our method, our method uh, uh, works even for uh, such element. Okay? So we can get uh, 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 the uh, non-vanishing in, in the uh, coupled F part. Okay? This is a new contribution. Okay. All right. Okay. This is an, uh, our new contribution. Right. Okay. So now uh, I'd like to go to uh, the elliptic surface. 
optic uh, surface. So here after uh, uh, p is uh, a prime number uh, greater than or equal to 5, okay? Uh, I don't like uh, prime number 2 and 3, okay? And k uh, is, uh, here after, k is a uh, finite extension of uh, qp, finite extension, okay? And but uh, later, uh, I further assume that uh, this is unramified, unramified, okay. For a moment, uh, k is an uh, arbitrary finite extension, okay. And let uh, pi uh, is an uh, elliptic surface. Over k, namely uh, x is a projective smooth surface over k, and c is a projective smooth curve, and pi is a, a surjective uh, morphism such that uh, the general fiber is a elliptic curve. Okay. And we consider uh, the. Uh, uh, B i is a pi inverse P i, a uh, split uh, multiplicative fibers. Okay. Usually, a pi has a singular fibers, but uh, and the, uh, the shape of fi uh, singular fibers are classified by Kodaira and Neron, but. Uh, we only consider the uh, uh, multiplicative fiber. It means uh, the shape uh, of the eye is uh, like this. Okay, or, the, or that one. Okay. That one. Mm. The each component is a P1. Okay, they are rational curve. And split means uh, each component is K-rational. And uh, the, the singular point, intersection point, is also k rational. Okay. So split, 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 split uh, means uh, uh, component and uh, intersection point are uh, k rational. Okay. All right. And uh, put uh, u is a complement of uh, 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 d, 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 d i, of 1 to s d i, okay? Okay. So, uh, uh, as we have seen in, in the example, uh, we have a, 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 we have a candidate of in the composable element, C, for each e, e split multiplicative fiber, okay? Did you say that each component of the eye is rational? Yes, because this is uh, the, the general fiber is an elliptic curve, uh -huh. so each, e, each curve uh, cannot be a, a higher genus curve, right. <laughs> okay? So this is, a, a, yes, a, anyway, this is a, a P1, so a P1, P1. And uh, intersecting transversely. Okay. Right. Okay. And uh, so uh, we, we like to discuss uh, the non-vanishing of uh, uh, this element. Okay. Okay. So to do this, uh, mm. So now, uh, uh, all right. Now, uh, the uh, localization exact sequence of the Tarko homology groups uh, gives rise to uh, the following uh, exact sequence and um, QP, QP. 
sorry, sorry. Uh, QP2 and QP2 and uh, H3 is e, e sum of DI um, XK bar QP2. E okay. And the image is, is uh, uh, defined uh, is uh, uh, the class of uh, uh, cycle class of DI. Okay. So uh, we have a uh, uh, exact sequence QP two uh, modulo of DI. Okay. Uh, so this is is a subgroup of. Uh, uh, generated by is reduce each component of the eyes. Okay, and two H two H E U K bar Q P two and H three some D I X K bar Q P two, and uh, it's not so difficult to show that this is uh, uh, subjective. Okay, and then. Uh, uh, this is isomorphic to uh, the, the, the H1 of uh, DI, A QP, A, no, 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 it's just, no, um, no, 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 H1, no, no, it's just, it's H1 homology of uh, DI, A QP, okay, plus, and this is isomorphic to the QP, A plus S, S product of QP. Because DI is a, a DI is a multiplicative fibers, so this is isomorphic to the QP. Okay. And the split uh, implies that uh, the isomorphism uh, is a is a, a, a isomorphism of uh, uh, Galois modules. Namely, this is a, a this is isomorphic to uh, as a Galois modules, okay. So therefore, uh, uh, so therefore, uh, we have an uh, exact sequence uh, in my UK bar QP two, so GK to QP plus S. To H1 K continuous parallel homology of H2 K bar Q P two modular or cycle class. Okay. And uh, there is a, a, a regulator map H1 K2 periodic regulator map and. Uh, Ti uh, denotes the, oh, uh, okay. the the element associated to the multiplicative fiber. This is a natural map, uh, natural inclusion. Then uh, the diagram is commutative. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is a um, this is a fact. So therefore, uh, the non-vanishing of uh, of uh, row CI is equivalent to uh, that bounding this space. Okay. So the bound bounding H uh, two. Okay. GK. Okay. So, and uh, this is what uh, we will do. Okay. Um. 
So everything so far is a standard argument, but uh, any questions? <laughs> okay, now uh, we go to the uh, technical heart of uh, uh, this talk. Okay. The next section is uh, the technical heart. Okay. So formal Eisenstein and uh, symptomic cohomology of uh, Tate curve. is to is, uh, this one bounding uh, this space okay and to do this uh, the idea the the main idea uh, goes back to my uh, old preprint four years ago math ag zero five one 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 nine zero my old preprint and uh, I have talked uh, on it uh, at Kias <laughs> you remember? <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, the result uh, was improved uh, by the joint work with Kanetomo Sato. Okay. Right. Yeah. Anyway. Um, okay. Um, okay. Now uh, uh, let uh, let K a, a be uh, unrushed. Here after. Uh, uh, we assume K is an unlimited extension of QP, and R is a, a ring of integers, integer ring. And uh, uh, then we define that let uh, F Q uh, is a formal uh, Roland power series. Okay. Q is a, a, a indeterminate. Okay. The formal Roland power series, which is expressed as uh, the following way so C K Q K. Okay. But, uh, 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 I'm sorry, uh, I forgot. Uh, and fix a uh, uh, basic, fix uh, cyclotomic basis. Uh, Uh, R equal plus I and C P zeta I. The zeta I is a root of roots of, of unity. Okay. So since we assume the K is unlimited, so there is a, a, a psychotomic basis of R. Then uh, we express FQ uh, 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 in the following way. First of all, uh, K is 0, C, K, Q, K, and and J uh, is in, in ZP. Okay. Yes. So then, uh, then uh, FQ, we call FQ is a formal Eisenstein series. Series, if and only if uh, the following conditions hold. First of all, uh, C K is zero if K is negative, and C zero uh, is in Z P. Okay. 
the second condition is uh, a k j is contained in k square of times z p okay, for all k for all j and k okay this is And, um, I gave a small remark. Uh, uh, we fix a psychotomic basis, uh, but the, uh, the conditions E1 and E2 uh, uh, does not depend on the choice of the basis. Okay? And moreover, uh, if uh, FQ is a, a Q expansion of uh, some uh, modular form of weight three, weight three, then uh, this condition, no, 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 so th th this condition uh, characterizes uh, if Q is a linear combination of a, a, a usual Eisenstein series. Okay, that is why uh, we named uh, formal Eisenstein series. It's not a modular form, okay? just a formal power series, but. Uh, it's uh, the coefficient uh, behaves like uh, Eisenstein series. Okay. That's the reason uh, why we named the formal Eisenstein. Okay. And uh, and this series uh, related to the syntomic, syntomic homology group of theta curve. Okay. That's the result. Okay. So. Uh, Okay. Now uh, let uh, EQ uh, is a state curve, namely uh, this is the, this is the elliptic curve uh, defined by the uh, x v plus a four q x plus a six q. And the base ring is anonymous. Base ring is a uh, uh, r q. Means, uh, R Q inverse. Okay. And uh, here A for Q uh, is, uh, well, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember, yes. Um, equal 1 to um, N third Q N minus 1 minus Q. A 6 Q. Uh, minus uh, 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 QN. Uh, no, 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 Complex torus of uh, C cross module Q to Z. Yeah? Excuse me. In your setting, you allow S prime number 2 and 3? No. Uh, P is always goes to uh, so greater than or equal to 5. Okay. The de uh, the the in the definition of the tape curve, uh, 2 and 3 are allowed. Okay. But uh, the reason is uh, the this one. So we hate uh, two and three because we use the symptomic homology groups. Okay. Um, anyway, <laughs> and then uh, we have a, a symptomic homology groups uh, of tape curve. So like this, one, this one. Okay. Um, I will not tell the definition of the symptom cohomology groups because uh, this one is rather uh, easy. Uh, this one has a rather uh, down to earth description, but usually uh, the definition of symptom cohomology is very, very complicated. Quite complicated. Okay. And it's not a good idea to record uh, it's a precise definition of the symptom cohomology group. I think so. 
Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, there is a map uh, from uh, symptomic to uh, the following. Uh, of uh, 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 two, two, two forms okay. Okay. there is an, uh, this is a, a canonical map there uh, are two forms okay. All right. okay. now uh, the so this is a key lemma this is a technical part if uh, F Q D Q D X plus E two Y plus X uh, is uh, contained in the image of H two symptomic. So then F Q is a, for a formal Eisenstein. Okay, this is a key lemma. So uh, I have no time to uh, to, to sh uh, tell uh, the proof of the key lemma, but it's uh, uh, it's not so sh uh, uh, simple, uh, but uh, it's a uh, uh, it's a fundamental use of syntomic homology groups and of um, Cato's explicit reciprocity laws in hot theory. Anyway, this is a, a the, this is a, a result of a periodic hot theory. Okay. Okay. So anyway, uh, uh, admitting this key lemma, uh, I'd like to finish uh, to state uh, our main theorem. Okay. So the main theorem. Right. So uh, to state the main theorem, uh, now. Uh, the, K, uh, K, K is uh, uh, unlimited, and uh, R and uh, P is greater than or equal to five, and, uh, as before. And uh, uh, let uh, pi is an elliptic surface over uh, the ring of integer R. Namely, uh, XR is a uh, 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 projective smooth uh, surface uh, which has a good reduction. CR also has a good reduction. And uh, DIR, this is the assumption, okay? And, and, uh, uh, and uh, this is uh, uh, the uh, split. Uh, multiplicative fiber over R. Okay. So everything has a good reduction. And, uh, put uh, U R uh, is a uh, 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 X minus D I R. Okay, I call one to S. Okay. And we look at the, uh, the, the neighborhood of uh, each, e, the, uh, each e, e multiplicative fibers. So uh, let uh, E i be a uh, tubular neighborhood, uh, neighborhood uh, of uh, D i r. Okay. So uh, this there's a, a Cartesian diagram of U r. To, uh, to, 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 to CR minus uh, PIR uh, spec uh, R QI to uh, this one. And this is a Cartesian diagram. Okay. And then uh, EI uh, is isomorphic to uh, the uh, Tate curve, Tate elliptic curve.
right. So then uh, we we so we want to attack uh, the, 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 the this space, but this is injected into the P plus S by the boundary map, okay, and. the theory of symptomic cohomology groups we have a map from symptomic to etal cohomology group. this is etal cohomology groups okay. and also we have a, a, the, a, a boundary map and also we have a map from the symptomic to the drum cohomology groups D R and there is a, 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 a Poincaré basis map Poincaré residue map okay and the diagram is complete and moreover uh, one can show that uh, this is subjective. Now uh, we have a, a, a tuber neighborhood of uh, DIR, which is isomorphic to Tate curve. So we have uh, uh, the following. Uh, we can add the uh, uh, diagram EI to the P2 to uh, uh, R QI modulo PN to TQ over Q dx on 2y plus x, okay? And the diagram is also competitive, okay? So, uh, so we define that uh, the phi x r dr, uh, the, the subspace of x r uh, omega 2, X i log sorry omega d r log d r such that uh, is uh, a formal formal Eisenstein for uh, each each i okay okay then uh, the key lemma by the key lemma and this space uh, is contained in the image of uh, this, this centromic cohomology groups so therefore uh, phi x r d r is contained in the image of uh, centromic cohomology group so therefore applying the boundary map for Ankara residue x r dr is contained in the delta h2 uh, symptomic and since uh, this is subjective therefore this is equal to uh, delta h2 et al uh, gk okay okay so uh, to do this to overcome the, 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 this uh, we also introduce uh, the, that uh, the P plus S is a delta phi and uh, F P plus S. Then uh, we define in the phi X R T R F P uh, is the image of delta phi. Okay. So then uh, here H2 Symptomic and equal to H2 et al. and delta H2 et al. bar. Okay, like this. Okay, and this is a, a computable. So computable. Computable. Okay, and uh, under some mild conditions. Uh, uh, one can show that uh, this is uh, the direct sum of uh, 
this space is direct sum and in this space. It means uh, the rank of the uh, delta H2 is equal to the, the dimension of H2 uh, the, uh, bar. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so finally, uh, the main theorem is uh, the assume that first of all H3 ZP is a uh, torsion free. And the, the second condition is to k bar set p to g k is zero. Then dimension of f p x r b r f p is uh, the Dimension of uh, uh, H2 uh, U K bar Z P2 Z K. Okay. okay, this is the main thing. Right. The the, the uh, this these two conditions imply that uh, this one is a, a direct sum and in this. So therefore, the, uh, the these two conditions imply uh, that. Uh, the dimension of delta h to bar, okay. And uh, the key lemma shows that uh, this 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 space is contained in this this space. So we have the equality. And uh, I say again, uh, this is a computable bound, okay. Right. Um, okay. Uh, I stop here. Okay. Mm. Okay. Are there some questions?